Two regional experts are warning of the impact of climate change on fish and small ruminants, two important protein sources in the Caribbean. The concerns are being discussed at the Caribbean Week of Agriculture, now underway in Suriname. CMC's Kenton Chance reports from Paramaribo. With memories as recent as the disaster in the Windwards last Christmas, the Caribbean is very familiar with the impact of climate change. But experts are warning for some attention to be paid to two important sources of protein, fish and small ruminants. Deputy Executive Director of the Caribbean Regional Fisheries Mechanism, Dr. Susan Singh Renton, says sea surface temperature is a natural boundary for species such as dolphin fish, kingfish, and tuna. What you will find is that you, if, if you have a, a warming of the seawater, then that range of the fish, that natural range, becomes extended. Singh Renton spoke of the potential impact of such a situation. We will see less fish production because unless we have uh, invest in different technologies that allow them to go further to catch those fish where they are, um, you, will, you will see less production. And scientific officer of the Caribbean Regional Research and Development Institute, Norman Gibson, said climate change has implications for all elements of agriculture, including small ruminants. The thinking is that if it is that we are going to continue to improve small ruminant production, then we have to consider the impact of climate change and what that will do to existing stocks and whether or not farmers are prepared at this point um, to meet those challenges. So when we consider food and nutrition security in the region, and we think of all the things that go into that basket, Smarunos is one. Gibson said that when ambient temperatures increase, animals such as sheep and goat become more stressed and produce less meat and milk. But he further said that while these animals may survive storms and hurricanes, the impact may not be seen until sometime later. But thereafter, you, you begin to see the effects in a few weeks after the storm has passed. Because of increased stress brought on by the event, then they have more problems with parasites and so on. And the mortality rates can actually be quite high as a consequence of those things. Kenton Chance reporting from Suriname.